I'm Anil Kumar. We are understanding inverse of trigonometric functions and functions of functions with the help of this video. The question here is find exact value of sine of 2 cos inverse x. And this exercise will also help students who are going to take calculus. Let's look into this expression. It is sine of 2 cos inverse, cos inverse of x, right? That is the expression. Now what you can do is you can substitute y equals to cos inverse of x, then cos y is equals to x. So cos y equals to x, if I make a right triangle, let me make one first, uh, let us say something like this. In that case, if I'm saying that y is my angle, cos y is x, that means adjacent over hypotenuse is in this ratio, right? It could be written as x over 1, right? Now, if that is the case, what is the opposite side? It is 1 square minus x square square root. Applying the Pythagorean theorem, since this is a right triangle, correct? So, cos y is x, how about sine y? sine y is opposite over hypotenuse, so it is equals to square root of 1 minus x square. So that's what we get from this substitution. So once you substitute cos inverse of x as y, you can form a triangle with y as an angle, all this is in radians, and the adjacent and hypotenuse ratio of x. Opposite will be 1 square minus x square square root, 1 minus x square square root, correct. Now let's get back to the question. So the question here is sine of 2 cos inverse x. Now cos inverse x is y, right? So we substituted this. So this portion is y. So we'll substitute y here. So what do you get? We get this as equals to sine 2y, correct? Cos inverse x is y. So we get sine 2y. Now in, geometry, in trigonometry, we learned sine 2y is 2 sine y cos y, correct? Sine 2y is 2 sine y cos y. We know what sine y is and we know what cos y is in terms of x. So we write that down. Sine y is square root of 1 minus x square and cos y is x and therefore sine 2y is 2x square root of 1 minus x square. Do you see that? So that is how you can actually solve this question. So, so we get this expression as equal to 2x square root of 1 minus x square. That is our answer, right? And that is how you could actually solve this question. I'm Anil Kumar. And I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.